Hello everyone. Thanks for tuning in to this week's edition of SFU Clan TV Sports Desk. I'm Jade Richardson, SFU Athletics Sports Information Coordinator. Here are the SFU Athletics stories you need to know. The SFU football team defeated the Dixie State Red Storm on the road 29-19 to win their first game of the season. Using an opportunistic defense that forced three turnovers, including a turnover forced by Jordan Herdman that was returned for 27 yards by his twin brother Justin in the third quarter, the clan fought their way to a 10-point victory. In his first career start, quarterback Tyler Nickel went 15 for 21 with a touchdown and an interception, while Ryan Sanford also saw action going 6 for 13 for 61 yards. Kicker Tiernan Dockerty went 2 for 2 on field goals, both coming from over 40 yards, while running back Earl Anderson returned a punt for a 60-yard touchdown in the second half. Following the win, the clan's record improves to 1-4 and 1-1 and and in the Great Northwest Athletic Conference, and the team will be on the road this weekend where they will face the Division I Idaho State Bengals in a non-conference game. After falling 3-1 against number 19 Northwest Nazarene on Thursday night, the Clan volleyball team upset the 18th ranked Central Washington Wildcats in straight sets in their second game of the weekend. SFU opened strong against their nationally ranked opponents, taking an early 12-7 lead in the first set. From there, blocks from Madeline Haight and Mackenzie Dunham lifted the team over the Wildcats as the home team would take the set 25-16. In the second set, another fast lead would propel the clan through the bulk of the game. The Wildcats would try to find a way back into the game, but SFU kept pressing, taking the set 25-18. After the intermission, the visitors returned much more composed and led 14-7 midway through the set. However, SFU dug deep, coming back from a 24-21 deficit and turning away four set points from Central Washington. At the 25-25 mark, SFU would take advantage, but Central would continue to tie it up until the 28-28 mark, where a hate Dunham block would give SFU their final advantage and Hate would put home the 30-28 kill one play later. Devin May and Kelsey Robinson finished the match with 14 kills each, while Amanda Rankema added 10 and factored in on six blocks. Sets were on tonight, passes, passes were on, we didn't make that many errors, so definitely played a factor into how I performed well. Uh, it takes a lot. Uh, you like to learn to how to win a game, right? Um, so just this core group um, of us, we feel like we feel that we gel really well together and building off the good things we did in the NNU game, although we didn't win, um, we did take um, a set off them and so we just continued to build and practice. We had a really good match on Thursday against Northwest Nazarene, who's number one in our conference and I think that really helped us push us up to that level and I think tonight we were really disciplined with ourselves and with our hitting and our blocking and stuff, which is what we've been really working on. With a 3 nothing victory, SFU improves to 10-5 and five on the season and 4-3 and three in GNAC play. The team will be back in action this weekend when they take on the St. Martin Saints and Western Oregon Wolves on the road. The clan men's and women's swimming teams opened their 2014-15 campaigns with wins at home as they beat the University of Puget Sound loggers in their first meet of the season. The women won the duel by a score of 170 to 81 and the men by a score of 159 to 91 and the clan were winners in 27 of 28 total events. On the men's side, youth was a factor as three of the clan's top five point scorers were swimming in their first collegiate meet. On the women's side, the team went undefeated on the day, winning all of the individual and relay events. The women's soccer team put on a strong defensive performance against the GNAC leaders through 95 minutes of play on Thursday, forcing number 22, Western Washington, to overtime. Unfortunately, the clan would fall one to nothing in the first overtime period. The men's soccer team bounced back on Thursday with a dominating 4-0 win on the road over the St. Martin Saints to earn their first GNAC win of 2014. Both teams, however, fell on the road Saturday night as the women played to a 3-0 loss with Northwest Nazarene and the men to a 3-1 loss to Seattle Pacific. And finally, the men's golf team are team champions of this past weekend's Division II Golf Week Fall Preview. The team fought through three tight rounds with West Region competitors Cal State Stanislaus eventually pulling out the win by a three-stroke margin with a weekend total of 864 strokes over three rounds. It is the clan's first team victory of the season and the team beat several Great Northwest Athletic Conference and West Region competitors at the event. Individually, Brett Thompson and John Likitich finished together in a tie for second place, only three strokes behind the tournament winner from Stanislavs, as they each shot three round totals of 213 strokes, three under par. That's it from us at Clan TV Sports Desk this week. Have a happy Canadian Thanksgiving and we'll see you again.